Hey guys, so I to reach out to me and wants to do something with virtual reality. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go. All right, whether you shot some footage on a 360 camera on your vacation and you just want to watch it or you want to immerse your kids in a 360 world of virtual exploration of Mars like one of our teachers does, uh, check this out. This is how I would set up Class VR and how you can distribute that content to your students so that they can pop those goggles on their face and be immersed in whatever it is that you have prepared for them. We have Class VR goggles and right now you'll notice that I am at classvr.com. I'm just going to click the login button because I have a class VR portal account and it should take me right in. Okay. When you go into your class VR portal for the first time, you're going to be like, what the heck is going on? Well, if your goggles have been set up by your tech team or whoever it is that you had to do that for you, this is what you should get up at the top. It says plan and deliver. Okay. Uh, I'm seated so I can't stand and deliver. But plan, plan is the first thing you're gonna do, figure out what you want to distribute to your kids. So basically what I'm gonna do is just click my playlists. I already have a playlist of content that I wanna to download to the goggles and then the kids can watch it either on their own, sort of asynchronously, or I can direct it with Class VR and make sure everybody's watching the same thing at the same time. So I have this Mars playlist already set up and basically what I did to set this up is I downloaded some 360 content from NASA, it's all free, and I uploaded it to what's called my cloud over here on the right. So you can see I've got these Perseverance Mars Rover, Engineering for Mars, all 360 content. But there is tons of 360 content on the web that you can download for free or get access to, like even a Cowboys and Rams divisional game that they were promoting VR. Um, NASCAR does some VR stuff, really, really cool uh, opportunities out there. So I've got my stuff. I uploaded it by clicking this button right here and then putting that 360 content in there. Uh, once it's there, uh, what I need to do is I need to pull it into a playlist over here on the left. Now, I already have this done, but let's just say I wanna drag something over here, it's gonna create a playlist and I can save that playlist separately in these little icons down at the bottom. Since I have that done already, I'm gonna go back to my playlists and I'm gonna drag the whole playlist over. Now you can see that it built this out. I have a 3D model of Mars. I have a Mars rover that, you know, the kids can look around up, down, all sorts of cool stuff. Those NASA videos, I'm ready to rock and roll with this class today. So now that I have that ready, down at the bottom, it has uh, a bunch of icons. Now, I'm gonna be working with some fourth graders today that are gonna be watching these on the goggles however they want. So there'll be a list of inside the goggles, the kids look right, left. So the kids will basically just look around in their goggles, they'll see a little dot appear on the video they wanna watch, and then they just tap the side of their goggles to load that video um, or that experience. But I don't really care what they look at, it's just an exploratory inquiry session. So that means that I am basically going to download it to the target devices. But first, I've got to get out of plan mode. I'm planned, ready to go. Now it's time to stand and, or just stay seated and deliver. So I go to deliver, you can see I have all my playlist stuff. I can preview them here if I would like. And it, over here on the right, it says plan your session, then tap here to unlock. These are all of the goggles that I have here um, at my expenditure disp disposal. So I have these available to me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and if I had them on right next to me and, and they're on the same Wi-Fi network, figured that out, then we're good to go. So what I need to do is I would see them powered on and showing up in this panel as either active or connected. So then all I have to do is go over here to the left and either download all the content preemptively. This is what I did, getting them ready to take over to another school. Or if I just found a new piece of content, I uploaded, I threw it in there, and now all the kids are actually doing something, but I want them to do this. I click that little button right there, that paper airplane sends it to the device, and as soon as it's downloaded, it loads. Now, once the kids are checking out the content, you can use this panel over here on the right to bring their attention back to you or just to manage the set in between classes or sections or groups or centers or whatever. So if I click the home button, basically what that's gonna do is it's going to bring them all the way out to what's called the lobby in their headset, all right? So that might be a good signal for um, if you're still doing this with your headphones on and I don't wanna mess with you, click that. 
Now I can mute everybody's device to basically give an announcement in class. So if we're watching say 360 content, that's a little bit longer and kids have headphones in and I don't want to startle them. I can just mute it, go, hey guys, we got two minutes left to class, unmute it and we're good. You can also um, power them all down. So here we go. This is where I think it's super powerful. Check-in is that same back to that um, home screen. Reboot, if a kid's really having trouble or if all the kids are having trouble or you're gonna, you know, you're done using them for that hour, they're gonna come back in the afternoon, reboot them. Or just shut them down, save the power after the kids leave before the new, next group um, comes in. And basically that's it. When you do it this way, you preemptively download or send the content to the goggles, it lives on the goggles. But there's another way that I really like to do this and I'm gonna show you in my force and motion playlist. So I'm going to drag this playlist whoa, all the way to the top. We're going to load this bad boy up and I'm going to show you a video. When I go to deliver here, I'm going to click on this freeboarding San Francisco. So uh, there are some skateboarders on this, you know, famous street in San Francisco. Let me zip ahead. And they're using GoPros and 360 cameras to film themselves as they go. Now, as a science teacher, I've used this in the past to get across the idea that motion is relative. So I have the kids look right at the skateboarder in front of them. I have them look at the skateboarder behind them. I have them look at the ground. I have them look at the crowd. And then we talk about how the motion of the video is different. What's cool about this is I send this and have all the kids watch it at the exact same time. And on this screen, every time a kid's goggles are on, it'll actually show me what they are looking at. So there might be a set of goggles, a kid staring at the sun. Don't recommend that one. Uh, <laughs> the sun stare record is six. Uh, or maybe they're looking over here at the crowd or maybe they're looking at the guy in front of them. And so it's really interesting. If you hover over that, you can see which kid that is and then address their unique experience. And it's just a really cool way uh, to bring about the virtual reality on a personal level and be like, hey, I saw that you were watching the crowd as you went down. What did you notice about that? Really cool example and a way to show a video to everybody at the same time. Okay, so let's take a look at a pair of goggles and see what it is that we might need to be aware of uh, as we're using these goggles for students. So a couple of things uh, that I've noticed if you're using the Class VR branded set is that you might notice the headphone jack's a little bit flimsy. When kids plug this in, make sure they don't do it blind. So have them plug their headphones in um, and then put the headset on. Otherwise, they're fumbling around and they end up pushing that jack up in and it is a pain in the butt to get back out. The other thing is getting kids understanding that they have a right side and a left side for volume and navigation and that they at any time can shake their head back and forth gently, not, you know, like they're a soaking wet dog trying to get the water off, but having kids feel around and fumble with that. You shouldn't have a lot of students that need to adjust that little roller for focus unless their eyesight is dramatically different. Tell kids do not touch the lens on the inside. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain to clean and sometimes you don't get it all right unless you have a little microfiber that you can just sort of buff that off. Those are the goggles. That is Class VR. If you're interested in more tutorials on how to do this or how to find content, um, maybe I'll do a video on that. If you know somebody that is really looking forward to VR or just doing some 360 videos, share this video with them and I'll see you in the next one.